Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open more packs for patrons. We have six packs of Corset 2020 and two packs of Rivals of Ixalan. And with me to do the pack blessings, we have Jace and Chandra here. So without further ado, let's introduce the patrons. We have a new patron here, Amziah Bros, gets his signed Jackalope Herd card. So he requested two packs of Corset 2020 blessed by Chandra, so we'll take care of that. Next up we have MTG Hermit with two packs of Rivals of Ixalan blessed by Jace. And finally we have Alpha Elizaga with four packs blessed by anybody. So we're going to do a double blessing here. Alright, so we'll get these pack blessers out of the way and get to cracking packs. Alright, so Amzai Bros, thank you for being a new patron. Let's get stuck into it and remember to stay tuned. Coming up real soon, we have the patron snap pack video. So I'm probably going to do a live stream for this uh, tomorrow morning. That's the plan. So you'll see a notification go out earlier than that if it goes ahead, so we shall see. Let's get started. We have Bone to Ash, Infuriate, Steadfast Sentry, Frilled Sea Serpent, Greenwood Sentinel, Blood Burglar, Undead Servant, Boreal Elemental, Maniacal Rage, Bone Clad Necromancer, and Uncommon's Creeping Trailblazer, Goblin Ringleader, that's what we're looking for. Renowned Weaponsmith and the rare is Dracuseth Maw of Flames, Legendary Creature Dragon. 7747 mana with flying. Whenever it attacks, it deals 4 damage to any target and 3 damage to each of up to 2 other targets. Alright, so there we go, and instantly the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. Next up we have Tranquil Cove and a Wolf Token. Okay, on to pack number two here. So Dracuseth is a cool dragon, not the priciest card, but still a nice one to have in your deck. We have Sage's Row Denizen, Lavakin Brawler, Moment of Heroism, Bone to Ash, Sanitarium Skeleton, yes. That's how we will appear if we don't get the crazy pools we're looking for. Gift of Paradise, Fathom Fleet Cutthroat, Feral Invocation, Netcaster Spider, Befuddle, and Uncommon's Unchained Berserker, Herald of the Sun, Tomebound Lich, and the rare is Atemsis All Seeing, Legendary Creature. Sphinx, 4-5 for 7, with flying, pay 2 and a blue, tap, draw 2 cards, and discard a card. And whenever this dude deals damage to an opponent, you may reveal your hand if cards with at least 6 different converted mana costs are revealed this way. That player loses the game. Okay, so there we are, Blossoming Sands and a Soldier Token. So we'll tuck these cards aside for you. Thank you for being a patron and moving right along here, so we'll rearrange things slightly. MTG Hermit, thank you for being a patron, sir. Rivals of Ixalan, he's still holding out hope for the crazy pulls from this set. And now I'm trying to think, what is the craziest, uh, is it one of those dinos? I'm losing track, I always get confused with Ixalan and Rivals. Let's go and check it out, Swaggering Corsair. Sanguine Glorifier Sea Legs, Vampire Revenant, Knight of the Stampede, Recover, Jade Bearer, Luminous Bonds, Colossal Dreadmoor, there's another dino, Dark Inquiry, Reckless Rage, First of the Uncommons, Everdawn Champion, Expel from Arazka, and if I'm not mistaken, is that Jace getting spewed out of there down the waterfall? Leave a note in the comments if you know what that's all about. And where is Zataipa Primal Dawn? The Dream Creature Elder Dinosaur. That is cool. 4-8 for 8. With Flying, Double Strike, Vigilance, Trample and Indestructible. I would not mess with this guy. 
Run as fast as you can. All right. And a swamp and a vampire token. Okay, second pack here. I think he's pretty good, but we can do better. Jace's blessings, better payoff today. We have a frilled death spitter. Let's get him in focus there. Holy moly. Sun crested pterodon. Miscloaked Herald, Aggressive Urge, Canal Monitor, which I always think is a Sea Otter and not a Lizard, Giltgrove Stalker, Traveler's Amulet, Evolving Wilds, Cot Court Sail, Kite Sail Corsair, there we are, oh it's getting late people, Bombard, Uncommon's Imperial Ceratops, Deadeye Brawler, Famished Paladin, and the rare is Blood Sun. Very nice, enchantment for three. When Blood Sun enters the battlefield, draw a card. All lands lose all abilities except mana abilities. Does anyone play a deck where you have a Blood Sun and a Blood Moon? Leave a note in the comments. I'm curious how that combo works out. And an island and a Merfolk token. Okay, so we'll set these aside for you, sir, and then we'll go back to Corset 2020. Get our piles there, and Alpha, thank you for being a patron. Let's continue here, Corset 2020. The double blessings, hopefully they pay off for you today. Let's get stuck into it. We have an Octo Prophet, Scorch Spitter, Fathom Fleet Cutthroat, Ferocious Pup, Cloudkin Seer, Destructive Digger Creature Goblin, very cool, Griffin Protector, Stone Golem, Leafkin Druid, Frost Lynx, and Uncommon's Howling Giant, Moldavine Reclamation, Chandra's Spitfire, and the rare is a Dread Presence Creature Nightmare 3 3 for 4. Whenever a swamp enters battlefield under your control, choose one, you draw a card and you lose one life, or it does two damage to any target and you gain two life. Okay, so we'll put that over there. And a mountain and a wolf token. Let's see how many wolf tokens we can get today. Okay. Pack number two, we have Act of Treason, Squad Captain. Fairy Miscreant, and who is looking forward to Throne of Eldraine? I hear there'll be some fairies in there. Should be pretty cool. Lots of fairy tale stuff. Brothers Grimm type stuff and so forth. Keldon Raider. Feral Invocation. Fathom Fleet Cutthroat. Ferocious Pup. Audacious Thief. Rabid Bite. And Uncommon's Portal of Sanctuary. Grave Digger, Yarox Wave Crasher, and there is Flood of Tears. Hopefully that will not be us when we don't get the craziness we're looking for here. Sorcery for six. Return all non-land permanents to their owner's hands. If you return four or more non-token permanents you control this way, you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. Good deal. And a foil rare. Nice. Look at that. Temple of Epiphany. Holy moly. Land enters battlefield tapped. And when it enters battlefield, scry one. You can tap it for blue or red. Wow. Okay, that is pretty cool. I think the double blessings have paid off indeed. Swiftwater Cliffs and a demon token. Okay, opening the Ajani pack next. Ajani, you better not hose us. He's presently in the Planeswalker Exile Zone for hosing us so bad that he must be punished. Keldon Raider, Angelic Gift, Fortress Crab, Bladebrand, Mammoth Spider. <laughs> oh dear. You, you just keep watching the videos, don't you? I've warned you about the mind rot many times, but you keep ignoring me. Leave a note in the comments if your mind has rotted yet. But we know the cure, don't we? Yes, we do. Sedge Scorpion, 
Zephyr Charge Griffin Sentinel Growth Cycle and Uncommon's Flame Sweep. God's Willing Scuttle Mutt. And that is not a dog, that is apparently a very strange looking scarecrow. Okay. And the rare is Planar Cleansing Sorcery for six. Whoa. Destroy all non land permanents, and there they go. Sucked into the black hole or the white hole or the vortex, whatever you want to call it. And a swamp and a soldier token. Okay, final pack here. So the, the foil rare, that was a nice find, but uh, some mythics would not go astray at this point. Actually, we could get two, couldn't we? Get one regular mythic and one foil. That would be fantastic. Okay, next we have a reckless airstrike with the goblins at it again. Raise the alarm. Feral invocation. Dures. Pack Mastiff. Soul Mender. Vial of Dragon Fire, Agonizing Siphon, Healer of the Glade, Blight Beetle, first of the uncommons. What is that? Iron Root Warlord, okay. Tree Folk Soldier, Bloodthirsty Aerialist, and Rare. Oh, there it is, a Mythic. Not the Mythic we were looking for, but still, I will take it. Cavalier of Dawn, Creature Element. Tool Knight 4 6 for 5 with Vigilance. When it enters battlefield, disrupt one target, non land permanent. Its controller creates a 3 3 colorless golem artifact creature token. And when Cavalier of Dawn dies, return target artifact or enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. And where's our second mythic? Is it here? No, it is not, but you do get a foil Leafkin Druid with some nice green foiling on that. And a Windscarred Crag and a Wolf Token. Alright, so there we have it. Thank you for being a patron, Alpha. We'll get this stuff tucked away here. And remember, everybody, stay tuned. Probably tomorrow, the patron snap pack video will be coming up. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.